I'll speak. It's my story. On this day, November 2023, I'm Annie Adams, and I'm telling the story of a child who got bullied, what should be done about it, and how these things could happen. I planned a speech, but then I'm just going to say my mind. Because it should be more of a conversation than, you know, a teaching, I guess. Let's be realistic. Kindly subscribe if you think what I said makes sense at the end of the video. But for now, let's pass the message. How it started? A boy new in the country, the United Kingdom, new in the school, and it was secondary school. Not new in secondary school, but new in the country. Plays games with his classmates, PE. Attends classes with his classmates, lectures. And then some set of boys decide to start disturbing him. He's a smart kid. He's good at what he does. For reasons unknown, they decide to disturb him. Not the way bullying works. It's a problem. We've established that bullying is wrong. But not the way it works, they disturb you, try to get a reaction from you. He decides not to give much of a reaction. Finally, they keep disturbing him in sports, in class. They say something rude to him. After not replying for a very long time, he decides to reply, you know, kind of same to you, you too. It's not me you're talking about, you're talking about yourself. They decide, oh yes, we are going to disturb this boy. Probably because I'm taller, or probably because he is black. Or is it because he's new to the school? Or is it because he doesn't have as much friends? These are people who are usually prone to bullying. So he decides to, you know, go home after school as usual, everyone does that. And then you see these boys saying, we're going to meet you outside. Similar story to many people, right? You? Did that happen to you? I don't know. And then they decide to attack him outside. Um, they're bigger than him, I would say. Stronger than him, I would say. And you know the way UK boys are, uh, you have to be careful, you don't know who owns a knife. Who is with a knife in their pocket. And so he defends himself, comes out after the beating with injuries. What do we establish that has? Assault. Then, yeah, that's what happened. That's how we started. That's what happened. Bullying. And this, the thing is, many people go through similar situations in the school hallway, um, in class. In the school toilet, um, yeah, I'm talking about school right now, so I'll leave it to the school. There was me passing. No. Yeah, let's just, let's just say it was me. There was me passing. I'm like, these guys have started again, always fighting. I didn't know it was a case of bullying. So, I passed and laughed, like, on serious kids, because this is Fighting is a normal thing we see every day in schools, especially when you are in a public school. Results of the fight, injuries, I see the boy later, I'm like, oh my god, you're injured. I'm concerned. Explain, try to keep it to himself, another sign of someone that gets bullied. Many of them don't want to speak out. Many of them never tell their parents. Many of them never tell the school, speak out. So after some time, he talks to me, talks to, you know, and shares the story. Try to do things about it. His family tried to do things about it. But of course, the school system failed in discipline and establishing consequences. The child might still be doing that to other kids. The other person, however, has learned that he can defend himself more. He can do certain things about it more. He should be more confident. So I would say the only person that has learned the lesson was the victim. But, however, the school hasn't done their job. 
government, the police, or the parents of the child reported to didn't do anything. And the boy is still the same. Funny? I'll just quickly maybe read through my notes and say why I think about bullying and what should be done about bullying quickly. You know, schools, you might say you don't know what to do to them, you might write, Shut keep quiet. You have power, you are a place of authority. You train kids, and so what you tell them is what is right. 59%, 70% of my knowledge I got it from school. Yes, I've come into the home. You might say the home. So what do schools do? This is our things I have not seen the school the child was do. There should be constant awareness through policies that bullying is wrong. Let, us, let, let it be established back to back. I remember the school I attended in Nigeria. Even if to an extent it was bullying. But it wasn't, I would say it was tolerated. No. There was a sign at the entrance of the school bullying stops here. At least the child has been informed that okay, something can be done about it. Quickly, report systems should be created. I will advise anonymous report systems. Where you drop, it's not, everything is not about um, so he's been, he's talked, he's, um, what do I want to say? Due respect to that community, this community is being facing fear or insults that this, some people are actually getting bullied for crazy reasons, unnecessary reasons. Report systems, anonymous report systems should be created. Support system for victims. Check up after. I the school hasn't asked the boy since that day. How he is doing? Or is the boy still disturbing you? Or is anyone else disturbing you? I've had conversations with many people after and I realized many people are being bullied. Seniors are being bullied. Not everyone is any Wadju Adams. Nobody is not everyone is any Adams where they may have the confidence to stand up. Some people are shy, some people are introverts. What is the school doing about it? I know of a teacher who left the school out of bullying. Yes, I will consider Buddha bullying because she's a Muslim or because she's from the Middle East and she's not Western or because she doesn't have the white skin. Really? Or because she's not black? Disciplinary action should be created for these bullies. Punish them, community service. It is just, if you can't touch them, you can definitely do certain things about it. Their boss card can be redrawn. So that means you can't go to the gym. That's what you fancy. Monitoring areas where bullying occurs. You know that this place is a place of constant fight. Put teachers there, put staff there. That's what should be done. School should train the teachers on what to do immediately. The boy, towards when the students were disturbing him, told the teacher. Not much was done about it. We will read, we'll read it to the higher committee. No, no, no. You all should have some power as a teacher. It's not just about talking. Put it in academics as well. Oh, you know how to put he's not in school. You know how to put he's late to school. But why can't you put it's less than five points on on um, behavior? The government knows how to remove points when you pass the traffic light. But have they removed points for where you misbehave in school? It starts from a young age, actually. Let me tell you that. The government should enact laws towards kids bullying. Let there be things. The police should do things about it. If it's to call, if it, what they said they would do is to call parents. You still didn't do that. Do your job. Stop calling people. Don't, don't, don't postpone it for three months later. I'm calling the UK government. Do your job concerning bullying. Allocate funding for schools if that's a problem. You know, to create awareness and things. We can spend money on, you know, putting the flags up and down. We can definitely spend money on bullying policies, bullying awareness, including in the school curriculum. I don't know if some schools do that. I'm new here, so I don't know if it's in courses like PSE, but let it be more established. Quickly, so I don't waste time. What should parents do? 
This is not from the home. I believe that the behavior and the structure of a child usually starts from the parents, what he sees in the home. How my parents behave has influenced me in a very large way. Okay, I believe that I am meant to be a family man, my dad. I believe that I should care about the people around me, my mom. I believe that I should think about God and serving him, my parents. I believe that um, I should do well in my academics, my parents. My mom, dad, graduates, master's degree holder. You get, my priorities and my values, a lot of them are based on what my parents are. So you as a mom and you as a dad, you are largely at your first on how your child behaves. Do something about it. Train them in the right way. You don't have to be a Christian. I'm not begging you to be a Christian. This is not a religious video. I'm not begging you to be um, the most strict parents. No, but you can train your child well. You can't actually train your child well. Some well brought kids have been from the most funny homes. But the parent knew what to do concerning raising their child. Teach your child about bullying. Let them know. Tell them it's bad. Tell them to love and accept others. We should be inclusive. Oh, you are from this region. Wow, I've never heard of people from this region. Tell me about yourself. Even if you don't want to communicate, do not keep it to your mind. Do not show it. Model positive behavior to them. Promote inclusivity in your home, in your conversations. There was this black boy in my office today. <laughs> he, he's, so, he's so dumb. Oh my god. Oh, he's so smart, but I will never help him. He's black. He cannot come out better than us. Oh, why am I even talking about only black people? You are black as well. So I don't want you to take this as a video I'm supporting on you. You too. You might be black and you're bullying someone. I've experienced that. Not me. But I was on the bus and I saw a black guy beat an Asian guy. Funny enough, it was a black, same age. That is bullying. It's not about race, it's not about color, it's not about likes, it's not about gender, it's not about expression. Next thing is what the student should do. Oh my god, I'm every if you know me, I'm very passionate about self-confidence. If you know me, my friends know this. You might consider it pride. You might consider it um talks a lot. I don't know. But the way you carry yourself, the way you talk, the way you behave. Let people know that they can't try you. I dare you, if you know me, come and try bully me. No, really, come and try bully me. And if don't feel, if you feel like you're that kind of person that can basically bully, don't feel somehow. Calm down. I'm about to tell you what to do. At that moment, stay calm. Try to get yourself in a safe place because, like I said, some boys are carrying guns if you're in the US, for example. Some boys are carrying knives. So be careful. Try and escape that place. You know, cross to the other side of the road. Secondly, if they have to touch you, at first, ignore and walk away. You know, after some time, I would advise you to say, please, I really don't like how you're touching me or how you, how you touch me. I feel very uncomfortable because you stop. If they don't stop, use a different route to where you're going. If they follow, um, I think I wrote some things down. Let me quickly just read my point, my bullet point. Calmly tell the person to stop if they if the person might not mean the person might not mean so much harm when doing it. Some people joke a lot, you know, and can be easily misunderstood. So just confirm that the person is trying to annoy you or just be annoying. So when you realize that, I will also advise that you walk in groups when you're in school. Don't be attached to one particular person, but be in groups. It's important to stay with friends, especially when you've noticed signs that you're about to be bullied or you're constantly being bullied about something. At least if you're all in school, you'll be like those set of people. The pain will be that much, I promise you. Endeavor to also speak to someone. Just don't keep it to yourself. There's no reason why you said don't worry about it. You should say don't worry about it. That young boy, I suspect that he wouldn't have said anything if he didn't have an injury. He wouldn't, probably. Many people are going through these things. I've had conversations with Indians, Blacks, White, Short, Tall, Fat, Slim, going through bullying. I didn't even know it was a general thing. 
Stop it. If you're a senior, if you, you're, you're above no one, there's always someone better than you. Rather, be influential. So back to the kid. Report to school authorities. Um, reporting doesn't make you a coward or a bitch. Take this step. Have I done this before? Have I reported? I think I did this in primary school. Not really, definitely when I feel uncomfortable, but not bullying. Report. You realize when you all grow up, you realize it never really matters. There are some things I felt I could have just stood my ground on in life. And then I was like, I didn't want to be embarrassed. And now, those times have gone. You know. So be aware of your rights, be educated, um, know what you have the right to, um, you know, your personal space and all. And then avoid keeping malice with people. I have a lot of positive relationships generally. So don't, don't have enemies. Be nice to everyone, be kind. Don't do things that will make people angry yourself. So that's just my opinion on bullying. If you have a story, a personal story, please write it in the comment section. Or if you have any advice for other people, please write it down. It is my story and I have come to speak. Not my story, but my story. If you have stories that you want me to tell, also you can DM me on Instagram and I'll tell your story and my opinion. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. We're taking the step to have a better society. To your boy, any other ways of Wawa, thank you.